what's going on guys welcome back to our channel uh it's a monday morning the weekend is over guys gotta get back to this hustle guys gotta get back to work we have a beautiful week with my family spent a lot of money so we gotta go try to make some more money guys say bye mamas this is my beautiful daughter always saying bye to me bye mamas hi mamas but yep guys we gotta go to the shop see what happens today hopefully we have a good day Ugh. Let's see if my baby starts. Uh. Beautiful sound, boys. Beautiful sound. Ain't nothing like a Chevy Impala. Woo! Okay, guys. So we fix it. Go to the shop. Uh, like I said, hopefully we have a good a good day today. Hopefully we get some work in for these guys to get working. And I'll see you back at the shop. <laughs> Good news guys, as soon as I got to the shop, a customer gave me a call said, hey, a friend of mine had an accident on Friday. Uh, they took the car, they told it to Service King, and uh, my friend told her friend, said, no, you know what, take it to Jean. Jean take care of you, so right now, thank God, we're on our way to Service King, go pick up this truck, and I'll be seeing you in a little bit, guys. We're in the tow truck right now, uh, so I'll see y'all back when we get to Service King. See y'all later, guys. Okay, guys, we're on the way to Service King. We just stopped by, put some diesel real quick on my baby. Oh, guys. The number one body shop, guys. Best body shop in Dallas, Texas. We just made it. We just picked up the car. Picked it up here at Service King. People were so mean, boys. Man, they were so mean. So, I don't know. I guess they didn't want to. I told them, where the car at? They said, I don't know. Somewhere outside. I said, okay. She said, go look somewhere outside. I said, man, that's so disrespectful. But we picked it up, man. Shout out to the customer. That's why I tell y'all guys, there's always better word of mouth. A customer had already dropped it off here at Service King. A friend of ours, a customer, hit him up, said, no, nah, what are you doing, man? Call my boy G, he'll take care of you. And she did. She called me this morning and uh, picked it up already, man. That's the good thing about being good, having good customers. Like I said, there's always word of mouth. They'll call you. They'll let you know. And uh, got this job in already. Monday, starting off the week good, guys. Like I said, it's always work, work, hustle, spend your money on the weekend, have fun, but I always go right back to work. They tell me, gee, you, you a, a tow truck driver? I said, man, I'm a tow truck driver, a painter, body man, a janitor, anything that's going to make my business money, guys, I'm on it. So hopefully we make it safe back to the shop and I'll hit y'all back, guys. Uh, they just signed the paperwork, so we're headed back to the shop. The customer was all laughing. Uh, he goes, gee. So you're the, tow, you're the tow truck driver also? I said, yes, man, I do my own tow truck driver. He started tripping out. Uh, he was all laughing. He said, gee, you on it, huh? You always trying to make it. I said, that's what I'm doing, we're trying to make it. Uh, we used to struggle a lot with the tow truck drivers. Uh, they sometimes would be like, hey, uh, I'll be there in an hour to pick up the car. And then an hour would pass by. They still wouldn't go get it. And I'd have to call the customer. Like, they're on their way. Customer will call me sometimes impatient. Uh, or sometimes it's like this like where you have to come to another shop and uh, pick up the car and trust me They're rude. Uh, they don't even help you out. You ask them where the car's at then I go look for it So my tow, tow truck drivers would call me. Hey, they, I don't know where the car's at, you know complaining So one day I told my dad and I said I'm gonna try to invest in the tow truck, you know, we we're doing good I said let's let's go ahead and do it. So we did it. So we got our own little tow truck I wanted to show y'all something guys y'all see this right here this right here is uh, when we go to Mexico, when we used to get on the Ruta, which is the bus uh, to go to the Centro and everything, all the Rutas had this and I used to, I, I loved it. So one, one time I told my cousin when he was coming up here, I said, hey, bring me one of those. 
uh, make it personalized. Uh, we're doing some work on it. Uh, we're fixing to paint it, guys. We got a little system. We got some JVC. We got some speakers in the back, two eights. Uh, you know, make it ours, guys. Everything I have, I have to, I have to make it mine. Uh, so we got a little dump in here. And uh, like I said, guys, we, we 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 play hard, but we also work hard, guys. And um, a, a little quick story, guys. One time, uh, we do do our own repos. <laughs> Me and my wife. My wife crazy. Uh, man, my wife, she has my back, like I said, guys. She always does anything I tell her. So we were looking for this car one time. Quick story. We were looking for this car. It was a, a 300. And I had sold it to this lady, and she was always paying on time. And then out of nowhere, it was like a month, two months I hadn't seen her. I, I would be calling her and calling her, no answer, leaving her messages. So I told my wife, look, I'm going to carry the key all the time. So in case one day we see it in somewhere in the apartments or the store, we'll, we'll pick it up right away. So one day we we're driving by her the, the apartments and it was so hard to get to those apartments because you know you have to have you know the, the key or whatever which you could wait till somebody comes in but that day we were dri driving by guys and there was a car going in so i remember i told my wife she was driving i said just go in real quick follow the car as soon as we go in guys boom i see the car right there uh i see some people they're outside some guys some kids their kids were playing outside so i told my wife is there hold up let me go get it I told my wife, look, I'm going to get off. I'm going to get in the car. As soon as I get in the car, you start driving to the exit. I said, because you know how when you exit the gates, it takes a while. That way I could just, boom, move out. So, yeah, we did it. I got in the car. I left. Like two minutes uh, later, we hadn't even made it to the house yet. Uh, I get a phone call. And the customer's like, gee, did you come pick up my car? I said, no. I said, uh, I have a company, you know, that does the repos. And, and, you know, I'm pretty sure they got it. You know, you hadn't called me in two months. I said, I didn't know what happened. She goes, no, well, they told me it was a, a big old Mexican guy with big glasses. Gee, I could have sworn it was you. And I said, no, nah, I, I don't do repos, man. I have a company that does them. And, uh, and she, uh, you know, she called me. She said, gee, you know, I, I'm struggling. Don't you know I'm doing this? Don't you know? And I told her, how am I going to know if you don't answer my calls? Like, if you would answer, tell me, hey, you know what? You know, I got a lot of cars and payments. And people call me and they're like, hey, I always tell them, as long as y'all call me and answer the phone, you know, let me know what's going on. Because I know, guys, that all of us, you know, sometimes we have problems or we're, you know, a little money tight. But as long as you answer the phone, you know, when I start getting mad is when they don't even answer the phone no more. Or, you know, ignoring your calls and everything. And you feel like you're begging for your money, which I'm not begging for my money. You know, it's, it's something that, that the car you're paying for. So uh, my wife, uh, so the customer was always like that. So one day when she went and picked it up, you know, I told her she could still go pick it up. You know, I don't like keeping the cars or nothing. I told her, look, pay me what you're backed up and pay me for the repo. And then one day she was laughing. She goes, gee, it was you, right? It was you and your wife, huh? And I said, yeah, it was me and my wife. She said, you, boy, you crazy, G. And she, she ended up paying the car. She's still a good customer. But, uh, yeah, me and my wife do everything in our business. Like, we try to do everything. Uh, we do repos, everything. And, and, and my wife, you know, she, like I said, I love my wife. Uh, I told her that, you know, any, any relationship, I tell her for a good man or a great man to be a great man, you have to have a great woman, guys. Like, you always have to have, a, you know, your backbone. Uh, I'm, I am what I am because of her. You know, I'm a hard worker, but also she motivates me, helps me out. When I'm stressed out, you know, she'll come and, you know, talk to me and, hey, calm down. You know, it's going to work out. So, babe, I love you. And uh, she's not here with me right now because she had to go to Lowe's, get some other stuff. And, uh, but she's always there with me. But, yeah, guys, we do everything. We pick up cars. We tow them. Like I said, we paint them. We also do repos. So uh, if you ever see us, better be careful because we're coming for those cars. Uh, but I'll see you when we get back to the shop. Uh, see you all later, guys. All right, guys. We made it back safely. Uh, we're back at the shop. Because, uh, guys, don't believe it. Sometimes, you know, driving a big old tow truck with a car uh, is also a little bit dangerous. So um, every time I'm on it, you know, I try to be respectful. I try to get on the speed limits because people out here driving crazy. Sometimes they'll cut in through you. And uh, you're driving a big old truck, and you know, you always scare a lot of people. But good thing we made it safe, thank God, we made it safe back to the shop. Uh, so we're gonna keep on working, guys. And I'm gonna be dropping more videos like this, uh, showing you a little bit every day of the shop, and of course, with the family. But you know, I told my wife, let me try to do something showing them more and more about the shop, guys. So I'll see y'all back on the next video.